Ravida, yes. uh, he had written this story in the year 2007. <laughs> what I understand is it was too much ahead of its time. He calls me one day to his home and he said that I had written this story in the year 2007. If it happens, it's only you who is going to direct it. He is Ravi Sharma now, but when he comes on the floor, he is a layman. He will just follow the instructions what the director says. We have made short films or we have made documentaries or we have made serials maybe. But uh, under this genre, this is the first time a psycho action thriller. When did you and why did you decide to become a filmmaker? I had seen Three Idiots. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to India Today, Any. And as you have said that this will be a psycho thriller movie. Can, can you tell me more about it? Uh, uh, if I go on telling more about it, then I will end up no, revealing <laughs> the story, <laughs> yes, which I don't want to. Yes, yes. But yes, uh, this genre, um, I believe it's uh, not yet been touched on bigger screens or large canvas as of yet in this part of in this part of the country. However, we have made short films or we have made documentaries or we have made serials maybe. Mm -hmm. But uh, under this genre, this is the first time. A psycho action thriller. Yes. Um, it's a very challenging thing for us, actually, mm -hmm. if we talk about this uh, genre now, because it's new and we don't know how the people would take it. Mm -hmm. But the confidence that drives us you know, to go ahead with this project is the script and the story. Mm -hmm. It's a very engaging and a very strong story and a very strong script. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe that it will be well received by the people and we are giving our best mm -hmm. you know, to make this as a landmark movie. Okay, yeah. this is perfect. So how different will it be for Assamese audience actually? Uh, there are a few things like, first of all, it's a very large canvas and there are a few things which have never happened you know, um, in the Assamese movies, like for the first time. Mm -hmm. The challenge that we are, uh, that we know that we'll be facing and we are ready to face it is, first of all, the terrain. And the terrain in which the story is based is in the minus degrees that I've already mentioned earlier. And we are not equipped and we are not trained or we, have, we, we don't have the experience in doing in, in shooting or in working in those kind of areas, in those kind of regions. And we have around 20 to, 20 to 25 days of schedule okay. over there. And the part is from the production side, we get a very lesser time of uh, sunlight or daylight over there. So at max we can shoot maybe three and a half three hours or three and a half hours a day. Yeah. So the working hours are very less. So the schedule increases, the production amount increases, right? <laughs> so it increases a lot Lots of budget. Of and then health wise we mm -hmm. are not acquainted to that weather. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to uh, we have taken a special medical team with us mm -hmm. uh, who will be helping us and supporting us and giving us all the medical support if needed. Mm -hmm. um, like oxygen cylinders, yes, yes, doctor that, support. That will be if you're, you you're going to shoot the movie in Arunachal Pradesh also right yes 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 and moreover there are a few action scenes over there mm -hmm. also so uh, as you have said that this will be a landmark movie mm -hmm. so uh, can you tell me how did you land up having this idea how did you get this idea to be made to make a psycho thriller action movie <coughs> first of all I am thankful to Ravida mm -hmm. this is his story yes. uh, he had written the story in the year 2007 <laughs> But why, what I understand is it was too much ahead of its time yes, when yes. it was written. Mm -hmm. So I think that was the reason it did not go on the floor. However, audiences, audiences are now they're going global. You know, it's a global subject. It's a, global platforms have emerged and people like to experiment and take new things. They accept it in a very good way. So I think it's the right time to take this subject ahead. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> so... Uh, we worked together, and Ravida, and Ravida and I worked together in 2021 in a short film called Sorry, which I made. Uh, he was the protagonist of that. And that was a Hindi short film. So once that short film was done, he calls me one day to his home and he said that I had written the story in the year 2007. If it, if it happens, it's going you who is going to direct it. Okay. I said, okay, so that was an honor for me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I took the story and I read the story, it was a fabulous, but I know it's a very complex and a very tough story to make, mm. especially for me, mm. um, because we have very less and limited resources, mm. we have very less funds, and I know, you know, if you also see the story or you hear the story, you will get to know how much of budget it's going to mm. incur, mm. <clears throat> but um, still, we took it as a challenge, and uh, from the very first day, Ravida and I had a belief this is going to be a landmark movie, if at all we can do justice to the script as it needs. Mm -hmm. no, like seeing the scenario, like 
Assamese industry is now having. Ravida is the biggest name in the industry right now because he has delivered some terrific cinema to our industry. So how is he as a co-actor or as a co-worker? Ravida and I worked for the first time as a director and actor in my short film Sorry, uh, uh, like 2021. But it's not that I knew him only then. I knew him for a very long time. But as a director and actor, that was the first project that we had done. <coughs> it was very comfortable. It was very comfortable. You would not believe the way he supports. Uh, so he is Ravi Sharma now. But when he comes on the floor, he's he's a layman. He will just follow the instructions what the director says. He he tries to read the director's mind and exactly get into the character. And it's very comfortable working with him. It's very comfortable. Okay. And also, I would like to know about you. When did you and why did you decide to be, become a filmmaker? Oh, that's a long story, actually. <laughs> we uh, have to sit for that then. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story, you know. Um, I was a movie buff. And I, I liked films and since my since I was a kid, but uh, somehow landed up in the corporate world after okay. doing my graduation. <coughs> Worked with some of the reputed brands um, in the MNC market. I was not here. I was in Bangalore for the last 13 years. Then I had seen Three Idiots. Okay, <laughs> that inspired you. Or what? Yeah, I mean, I also realized, that, you know. Life, there's only one life, and if I don't follow my passion, then there might be a day where I'm in, I'm at regret. Mm -hmm. So, I took this as a challenge, and I came back. Now you're here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining India today, Annie.